get a bit more light on here. Howdy, howdy, how are you? Hashtag health, wealth, life. Day 100, it's the big 100, wow. Okay, let me just do a little switcheroo. Boom. We went, uh, hold up, we're all over the place. There we go, that's better, better, better. Right, let's get rid of that. Day 100, 100 days into this year. Woo! How's it going for you? What is the, uh, what's the insight today? I'm really interested, the 100 uh, or so people that will watch this. Sarah, good to see you. Glad you're in here. Um, the 100 or so people that watch this, I would be really interested in this question if you answered it. If you popped it into the comment box below, uh, what was your insight today? What did you learn? What's the main thing you learned today? Imagine if we all shared that every day. We'd have, you know, 100, 200, sometimes 300 views on these on, uh, on insights. Sarah Windsor, good to see you as well. So Sarah Bonanza going on right now. Uh, we'd have hundreds of insights. Now imagine that, how many insights make up a, a hindsight? Think about that. Maybe if we, we reach a tipping point of 50 insights that we've had today, we get a hindsight for tomorrow. Anyway, just putting that out there. Sarah, another Sarah. That's the third Sarah in a row. <laughs> We're having a Sarah Bonanza. Anyway, welcome. Welcome all. So, it's the Big 100. What's your insight today? Please share it. I dare you to press the invite button. Invite one person. Do it. Do it if you're watching live or if you're watching as a recording. Uh, and share your insight. Just pop it in. I, I learned uh, about fibre today. Because that's what we're going to be talking about. So pop that in or whatever it is you learn. So, if optic fibre were edible, would it be a light snack? I thought that was a fun little, uh, little line. So, if optic fibre was edible, would it be a light snack? Get it? I hope you get it. Think about it. Anyway, this is big. This is a big thing. So, it's so often missed this. There isn't such a thing as an essential carbohydrate. You could cut out all carbohydrates, you wouldn't die as long as you're getting enough protein and fats. Uh, that's a fact. There's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. There is such a thing as an essential amino acid, which is, um, which is a uh, protein. I got a message, I got distracted. So, um, which is a, um, uh, a protein. So there is such a thing as an essential protein, which we need. No such thing as essential carbohydrate. But if there was an essential carbohydrate, it certainly would be in the mix with fiber and antioxidants. They're the only things we'd really miss. Uh, and the energy up and down, uh, we wouldn't miss. We wouldn't miss so much. So anyway, uh, if you check out my video about the gut um, from a few days ago, that's called uh, There Are Tiny Mites That Live On Your Eyelashes. Check that one out. That's about the gut and, and all the little things that go on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Check that out and there's a few things in there about how to improve the function of your gut and how that gets you feeling better, gets you feeling more energized and, and flat stomach and all the good stuff. Right, so uh, check that one out and it leads on to this one. So why is fiber important and uh, why is that linked to my gut post? Uh, ah, Sarah, thank you for clarifying. Ginny, welcome. So it was uh, Sarah and three Sarahs. Sorry, Sarah, I got your name wrong. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> anyway, welcome aboard. So, uh, what was I saying? Basically, if you want a healthy gut, which means uh, flat stomach, good digestion, uh, optimal body composition, hear fat, uh, etc., you want to take on enough fiber. The, uh, what does it say, American Dietetic Association now um, reports that the average person takes on about 15 grams of fiber, and it reports that we need 15 to 20, uh, 25 to 35, 25 to 35, so we're getting about 10 to um, 20 grams short in the fiber department. And what does that mean? That's peristalsis. So how food moves through your gut. Is it picking up all the toxins that it could and pulling out the fibers? And um, can that be improved? And is, when that's improved, does your energy go up? Can you produce uh, uh, protection against cancers and other diseases? So it's common to sort fiber uh, when I say, when I get someone to sort out fiber and I, and I get them to do this, like let's add some fiber into your diet, it's very simple, it's very easy, it's cheap. Um, that they say, well, I don't, I don't think I need it, everything's fine, bowel movements are fine, stomach's fine. I say, okay, it's fine. It's like walking around with a really tight back uh, all your whole life. You've had a tight back your, your whole life, you've not known about it. And then someone releases your back and someone uh, gives you that freedom and you're like, Oh, wow, okay, I didn't know things could be this, this great. That's kind of the experience when you get the fiber right in your diet. Thanks, Sarah, thanks for the thumbs up, thanks for the share. Um, if I say anything that uh, resonates with you or gives you a good idea, sparks an idea in your mind, you think that's great, please give me a share, please give me the, uh, a thumbs up, and invite a friend, invite a friend to the party here every day at 6 p.m. Okay, so, um, when, I, when I introduce this to people, I hear 
I commonly hear sentences like, oh my God, this is so much better. I didn't know that this, uh, I could feel better. I didn't know there was a better. I thought I was just great. But it, actually, there's another few steps you can take. And it's a wow factor. So uh, just my take on it. This is where supplement become comes in really handy. So I'll talk about where we get the fiber in a minute. I've talked, I've brushed over the, the common um, reasons or why you want to take fiber because it really can help with... Uh, um, fat loss, it can really help with digestion, it can really help with flattening the stomach, it really helps with, let's think about what fiber does. So fiber is the food of the probiotics in your gut. So it's the good bacteria in your gut and we need to feed them what they need and they'll replicate in numbers, colony forming units, they'll replicate, replicate and more of the good bacteria will be in your gut and therefore do good things for you rather than the gut bad gut bacteria and doing bad things for you. Uh, okay, Sarah, I got your name right. Sorry, you have struggled with it for 25 years, so it's really interesting. Has anyone ever spoke to you about this? I'm assuming for 25 years you've seen a few specialists, you've talked to some, to some experts. Is this something that they've covered? I would, I would assume straight away because it's something that I simply cover with, uh, with my clients. And with you guys now, we're sharing this little insight. And it's such an easy thing to do. And as I say, you, you might think, I don't need it. I don't, you know, I'm absolutely fine in that department. But if you try this for a week, I guarantee you, you'll feel a difference. You'll notice a difference and your energy levels will go up. Fiber can also pull out cholesterol from your blood. So if you're heading towards, or if you have a cholesterol issues, um, Nolo, welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hope you had a good day. So if you have any cholesterol issues, fiber can actually pull that down, pull the LD out, LDL out of your system um, and uh, help you with the cholesterol issues. Right, so basic two types of fiber. There's soluble and insoluble. Really simple. One is soluble, one is insoluble. Um, soluble dissolves in water, insoluble doesn't. Both are important and occur naturally in uh, beans, seeds, nuts, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, meat and dairy do not have any fiber. So Hilary, good to see you, hope you're well. So if you are on a low carbohydrate diet, for example, it's what I started the conversation with. If you're on a low carbohydrate diet, that's fine for a period of time. You might not do that for your whole life. But if you're on a low carbohydrate diet and eating high protein and high fats, which is good, it's a good thing, especially for a period of time. Uh, you'll lose some weight, you'll lose a... Uh, I've talked about this many times, you've probably heard me say this before, but for every gram of, of glycogen, glycogen in your system, which is a form of carbohydrate stored in the body, every, every gram you get rid of, so you stop eating carbs and you start burning it off out of your system, out of your muscles, it will take with it three to four grams of water. So that's how you get rid of a lot of water retention and why people lose a lot of weight on the scales in uh, the first few days of going on a low-carb diet. That's one of the reasons. But we need to add in some possibly some antioxidants and, and definitely some fiber uh, if we're going on that kind of diet for a while. And it's really useful because it keeps everything moving through the system and, and actually helps support the system to be more optimal and healthy. So most people these days eat approximately 15 grams. We need to get, I would say 30 grams. That seems to work really well. 15 grams in the morning, 15 grams in the evening. And that's about two tablespoons of, uh, of a fiber supplement. It's really simple. So psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is a really easy one to take. Hi Rose, hope you had a good day as well. Um, psyllium husk is a really easy one to take. You can just Google that, get a good one. Lep, uh, Lepicol, I think, is the name of, of a brand. You can't go too far wrong, so get a good psyllium husk. Um, and I'll give you an idea on other uh, foods that contain it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me find it. So soluble fiber is oats, bran, barley, dried beans, peas, and potatoes. So you can get a few of those into your diet. Dried, so you increase the fiber in the potatoes by about 40% if you boil them and then let them dry and go cold. The, the fiber content of the potato goes up. So they're much better that way to have because the fiber will slow the speed at which the potato goes through your system. And that's a good thing because we want a slow release of the energy over time. With carbohydrates, you get a big spike and therefore you get an insulin response. We want to manage that insulin response. That's how we best manage, manage aging and uh, fat. So insulin is the hormone of aging and fat storage. So if we manage that well, we manage our aging well better and we manage uh, how we store fat. So cook the potatoes, let them dry and you'll, you'll let them cool even and dry out and uh, you'll uh, get more fiber in there. Thank you for sharing. Uh, if I say anything that do you think that's a good idea, let me share that with someone. Press the share button, I dare you. And invite a friend. Press invite, invite a friend to this conversation. Let's let's get this information out there and help people. Um, so if you have a goal, um, 
of losing some body fat, this is a, this is a way to go. We go on a low carbohydrate diet for a period of time, not forever, for a period of time, and we increase increase the proteins and fats that you take in and make them good quality sources. That's a whole conversation of its own. And I would suggest bringing in some fiber into that diet because it can get a bit clogged up, if you know what I mean. And fiber here really helps it to, to keep moving. So insoluble fiber attaches to waste and helps excrete it. It's like a roughage. It's roughage in, in your diet, right? So it helps prevent hemorrhoids, heart disease, and some cancers. It's actually been shown that fiber can help uh, reduce cancers. Colorectal is an obvious one because it's all in that department. So protection against cancers, most basic will uh, will make your stomach, on the most basic level, right, let me get this across, on the most basic level, it's gonna help your stomach feel better and you're gonna have better bowel movements. And that leads to you feeling better and uh, and thinking better. Trust me on this one, it's a, such a simple thing. Get some psyllium husk, take two tablespoons in the morning in some water, don't need a lot. You know, you can judge that how you like, how thick you like it, but just get it in and then um, do that same thing in the evening. Simple as that, simple as that. So if this is a simple tip, right? This is such a simple tip that can have a big punch, a big punch on your system and help you protect you from cancer, right? You know, it's a simple thing we can do. I promise you that you do this for a week, you get the psyllium husk for, as an example or another form of fiber and supplement it for a week and you'll feel the difference. You'll feel the difference with your energy in your stomach and, and bowel movements. You know, as I say, it's like having a stiff back your entire life uh, and not knowing. And then your back gets released and you think, oh, wow, this is amazing. I've got so much more freedom and I can, I can move around. And wow, it's a bit like that. People say that, you know, they said, I didn't know it could get better. But wow, such a difference. It makes, it's quite profound. Anyway, so try that. So this is one little solution that I can give to you today. And uh, on the 22nd of April, there's another big solution that I'd love to give to you, which is so simple. You know, come down. We're going to be talking about how we can uh, eradicate even or get rid of psoriasis, joint pain, uh, problems with fat loss, problems with brain fog, uh, diabetes, how we can combat diabetes and balance our blood sugar level better and basically all of the symptoms of inflammation, right? How do we get cool the system, cool this inflammation that's going on in all of us and we'll be talking about that and we'll also be talking about how you can share that amazing information with other people <clears throat> and you'll have the opportunity to have a powerful impact on yourself and then carry that forward and give that opportunity to someone else and we'll show you how to do that as well so uh, if you're interested in that the Eventbrite tickets will go up tomorrow we expect this to be a very busy event we're getting a lot of interest already so please grab your ticket quickly as soon as you see it if you write interested in the box below I will get the Eventbrite tickets sent directly to you so you can register yourself it will be a free event it's a no-brainer come down Register for the ticket, it'll be a Facebook uh, page as well, but it'll be Eventbrite ticket and uh, register for it because we're going we're gonna to sell it out very quickly. And it's free, free information, no brainer. So type, uh, type interested in the box. If you're interested in coming, I'll get that information straight out to you. All right, amazing. Fiber, there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate, but if there was, then it would be fiber. And it, you know, let's, let's go to the, to the worst case scenario, it helps reduce cancers. No brainer, it's cheap and it's quick. All right, so if fiber, if optic fiber was, a, was edible, would it be a light snack? That's the question I'd leave you with today. <laughs> All right, guys, have an amazing rest of the day, the morning, the evening, wherever you are in the world. Take great care of yourself and everyone around you. And always, always remember that happy is a skill that you can learn. And this is a better way to bring out your personal best, fiber is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us. I'll see you all tomorrow. Press the share button now. Press it, press it, press it. Press the share button and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Take care. Love to all.